I'm Jenny Barnett Roars, your host for Hands on Crafts for Kids. This season we'll get creative. Just by looking around us each and every day, we can get great ideas for family fun crafts. Franz Fohn, artist extraordinaire and past host of his own art series, will share imaginative art tips. Katie Hacker and Candy Cooper join me this season to create indoor and outdoor toys, colorful decorations, and super fun wearables. Mommy bloggers from around the country help us celebrate the seasons and decorate for the holidays with things they make with their own kids. And of course, we'll have lots of other fabulous craft projects. So let's go. Let's get creative, starting with this really cute fuzzy hedgehog. Katie, come on in, because we're gonna make this together. Yeah, this looks like fun. It's so much fun. And you know, it really is only a few products, but I think it really has a big impact. It sure does, very and, cute. And hopefully it'll keep my daughter from wanting a real one. So well, let's, good luck get with that, Mom. <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> You're going to need for this project some burlap ribbon, a four inch styrofoam ball, a three inch styrofoam cone, some craft paint, some glue, maybe a paint marker, and then the tools that we're gonna need today are toothpicks, um, an old chopstick or knitting needle, just something that you can poke with, some scissors, a serrated knife to cut the styrofoam, and of course things like you know your foam brushes and disposable plates. And make sure you cover your work surface because we are going to make a mess. This is messy, messy, and more messy, but I kinda like that, don't you? Yes, definitely. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna just use this manila folder to catch the crumbs because we're gonna cut the styrofoam. If you'd okay. like to hand me that ball, I'm gonna take the, the styrofoam ball, put a rubber band around the middle, and that, that helps me find the halfway mark. Perfect. So I'm gonna get started cutting this. Thank you. You're and then if you'd like to get started cutting the cone, you're gonna measure down uh, two fingers or a finger's width from the, the top, because okay. that's the snoot. Just here for the nose. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom, you're gonna cut the bottom one inch for the legs. So okay. we'll get started here. So we'll just use our sawing motion here mm -hmm. to cut through. You know, I kind of just push down. It kind of whatever works best for you. After a while, you can take off that rubber band because it gets in the way. Okay. Yeah, and this is, it is a good idea to protect your work surface. And notice how mine turned out a little uh, 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 not yeah, so great. Just sand it. I'm gonna sand it. And this is kind of fun. Just to sand it by a circular motion. Excellent. Now, what I'd like you to do is take the pointy nose part, and if you want, you can even squish it around a little bit to even make it more pointy. All right. And then I'm gonna take the body part, and I'm just gonna try and make something like a teardrop shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but a little bit of rounding gives him a cute little body shape. Sure does. Let's see. What do you think? It's my little good? snout here. There you go. All right, so once you've got finished sanding, <laughs> what's nice is you can just take that manila folder and put all of the dirties away, and we'll have something that looks kind of like that. That looks a little better, doesn't it? Sure does. So now let's assemble him, and we're gonna need those toothpicks okay. and our little palette of glue. So styrofoam is great, but it doesn't stick to itself well unless you give it something to grab onto. So I'm gonna take a toothpick, dip it into the glue, and push it into the body. Now see, this is kind of the pointy end where the nose goes. Right, then you have a place to attach. Yes, and now I'm gonna just kind of do that and Perfect. squish in the other end. Oh, there, there he goes! Go. And we'll do the same thing with the feet. Will you wanna work on that a yes, little bit? Yes, I will. Okay, because after you get his feet on, we're gonna have to paint him and he'll need some time to dry. So we'll kind of work on those things simultaneously. Okay. I'm gonna just come over here and grab this brown paint. So. I was really surprised when I went to the pet store. Did you know that hedgehogs come in different colors? No, I didn't. I mean, there are variations of brown and white. So you can kind of look at some pictures and come up with you know, what you want him to look like. Yeah, so you can mix your own color. Mix your own color, exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna start painting him. And you know, when you paint styrofoam, a pokey motion gets all the way down in those little cracks and crevices. Right, so you really pounce it up and down. Yeah, and pounce it sure up and get down. It in there. Right. All right, so you want to actually, would you like to work on the sure, painting for a little that. bit? And we'll, we'll let that guy, guy set off to dry. Because the next thing we need to do is um, create the spines. So how do you think we're gonna do that? Can you guess which material on the table we're gonna use? It's looking like burlap, burlap. So this ribbon comes on a roll, and what we're gonna do is just kind of go ahead and cut it into strips and then cut it in squares. 
Now, you notice my squares don't match. You know That's what? okay, right? That is totally okay. And when we go to put on his little spines, we're gonna fold them in half like this, and then fold them in half again. And see, remember I told you about that chopstick yes. bamboo skewer idea? Okay, this is another kind of a messy part, but what we're gonna do is poke a little hole in his back, like that. Then we're gonna dip that square of burlap in the glue, and then we're gonna put this back in the middle and tuck it in. All so right. some of the burlap gets everywhere. That's what's gonna happen. But look, it already gives him like instant spines. A little bit of fuzz, yeah. A little, and then you know you can also fold them um, long ways or corner ways. It kind of doesn't matter. But you're just gonna so you're just going to start going down folding one side in the middle. Yeah, folding and tucking and poking. Fold, tuck, poke, repeat. Okay. And we're gonna go down the middle, then down this side, and then keep going until you've covered his entire body. And then when do you start fraying it out? Oh yeah, once, so once you get it dry, and I like to wait till it dries a little bit, but then you just go ahead and pull out some of the excess pieces, that's the third part of the messy, and it frays up to look like the spines. But he's not prickly, he's soft He's and super soft, yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that little happy face on him, and he's ready to put on your table and enjoy.